So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quick drawing sheet. So I'm going to go to new and then create a drawing sheet. I'm just going to change the format of this drawing sheet to a more blank one and change the scale. I'm going to delete this view and create just an isometric view. So now I'm going to create a bill of materials. So first of all, make sure you're in the detail ribbon. And then this is the bill of materials tool here. And you can create top level, indented or parts. So I'm just going to stick with top level for this example. And I'm going to place my bill of material just there. So we can see how the layout, we've got item number, part number and quantity. If you look at the uh, part number, we can see that if we look at the, uh, sorry, the structure tree on the left hand side, we can see how the bill of materials is laid out. So we can see that the outer shell is the top component, hence it's number one. So you can rearrange your components prior to creating your bill of materials. Or if you want a certain component to be in a certain position, you can actually um, just change the numbers around. So for example, if I wanted leads to be number one, I can delete four, make sure I type one. I'm just gonna make outer shell four. We can see that they are now different numbers. Click on this column here, right click and just say sort by column. So now we can see that leads is number one and outer shell is number four. If you want to hide a particular component in your bill of materials, there's two ways I would say of doing this. Um, the first way is to first hide the component in your uh, design window. So let's say I don't want to show pins, so I'm going to just untick it. Then you can see it's still showing here. But if I click on the bill of materials and look to the left, this is my bill of materials property. We can see hidden components are is set to include. I can then set that to do not include. Hiding the pins in the design window hasn't hidden them in the um, drawing sheet. You would have to hide them here as well. But now we can see the pins isn't showing. Uh, that's one way of hiding a particular um, component. Another way is to actually split the table. So you may have three components that you don't want to show. You could make sure that they were labeled um, numbered the very bottom numbers five six seven in this instance I can right click split the table so we can see now my five six seven are actually on a separate bill of materials and then I can just delete them and they're not showing so that's a separate way of hiding particular components um, if you want to add more columns to your bill of materials for example you may want a material property or a weight or if it was a sheet metal part, a thickness. You can select the component, make sure you select the whole column, right click and say insert column to the right or left. And we've got a now got a new column. You can add multiple columns. Next thing I wanna do is select on this column. At the moment, if you look to the left hand side, it's set to document property. So you can have a num any number of properties in this column but I actually want a material property. But if you see here, we can add part extent sheet metal properties and other properties. So I want material property. And now I'm going to set that to material name. We can see now that the, the, the part is populated. Uh, the outer shell has now got an actual material next to it because that component has a material added to it. If I go back to my design window, click on my outer shell, I can see that it has a material property added to it. Um, if I want a material property added to the leads, I would click on the component. Make sure you do this at component level. Down here, we can see unknown material. I can then go to my library and I'm going to just add a steel. And we can now see that the material properties have been updated. So that's just a short video on billing materials in Ansys Spaceclub.